Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Paul Salvet in Bangkok. Uh, this is the Quick and Dirty Guide to eBook format, e Formatting, Part 1. Um, everyone will want to take a look at Guido Henkel's website. He's got a great multi-part series on ebook formatting, very helpful um, as a resource for the self-publishing community. Um, I'm kind of doing this because uh, I, I'm getting really sick and tired of, you know, I find a great author, it's got a great cover, a great blurb, and then I go to open the ebook file in my e-reader, uh, I use Kindle for iPad, and then I look at it, and the formatting is just a complete mess. It's just, it's just absolutely unacceptable. And uh, I'm spending my hard-earned dollars on, uh, you know, someone's work. You know, I expect the formatting to be perfect. And if you're a writer like myself, you know, I hope uh, you would only give your customers, the readers, you know, uh, nothing less than perfection. So uh, l we're going to take a look at um, how to uh, properly format an ebook. Um, it starts off with um, taking uh, a manuscript, and that's what we have here. So I've got my manuscript. This is called America Goes On. It's a 15,000-word novella. Um, and what we want to do, I just got back from the editor. I've checked all the content. You know, I'm, I'm happy with the content. Everything's perfect. But I'm going through it, you know, and after it's changed so many hands, you know, the, the formatting is just absolutely terrible. It's just awful. I mean, look how the fonts change. Um, the indents change. Uh, this right here is, you know, what's called a block indent, um, typically used for nonfictions. But this is like a first line indent, typically used for fiction. Um, you know, there's comments all over the place. You know, this is double spaced here. You know, if I if I package this as an HTML and tried to sell it, you know, I I I I, I, I would punch myself in the face because this is just terrible. Anyway, so uh, let's start. Uh, getting this manuscript cleaned up before we uh, export it to a uh, text editor file. And um, first thing we want to do, all right, we're going to go, we're going to go into Word Options, and then we're going to go to Proofing. All right, I'm using Microsoft Word 2007, but it's similar for uh, you know any word processor you want to use. It doesn't have to be 2007. All right, Auto Correct Options. So what we're going to do here in the auto format is you type. Straight quotes with smart quotes. Yeah, we want to check that because the readers like to see the curly quotes. Those are also called smart quotes. Uh, hyphens with dash. So this is called the, I think it's called the M dash. It's when you put the two hyphens. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't use it that much. But uh, people like to see the one long line there. So uh, once then we go back to, uh, excuse me, auto format. We want to make sure to replace straight quotes with smart quotes and hyphens with dash because people like to see these smart quotes for both single and double quotes as well as replacing hyphens and the double hyphen with the proper dash okay so we go hit OK so what we're going to want to do is uh, hit control H that'll find and replace we're going to find a quote and then put in another double quote so I put in the exact same thing here one double quote and another double quote I'm going to replace my entire manuscript with that and we're going to do the same thing for the single quote or the apostrophe, single quote or the apostrophe, same thing. So replace all. There we go. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to get make sure we have the right hyphen everywhere. So when I type a word that gets hyphenated, say single-handedly, dash-handedly. Okay. What uh, word actually did there? It changed it from the uh, the minus sign to an actual like hyphen, which is just slightly different in length. But we want to make sure we get all those in there. So I'm going to copy that hyphen. I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit the minus sign on find what, and then replace with cut paste that hyphen, that special character. Replace all. Okay. And now I'm going to do. Uh, and then uh, here's how we get the em dash. So we type something. Blah blah blah. Hyphen hyphen. Blah blah blah. And then see how it converted that, and it's going to take that and it's going to make it into a uh, a double hyphen. So I'm going to copy that, hit Control H again, find hyphen hyphen, and then cut and paste that long em dash and replace all. There we go. Uh, last thing we want to do is we want to get the ellipsis special character. An ellipsis, you know, typically it's dot dot dot. Um, but uh, we want to have it with a special ellipsis character. And that's Control Alt Period. See how the dots are a little different? Hopefully you can see that. We're going to replace all with that. Okay. Now what we want to do is find all uh, bold, underlined, and italicized text. Um, the reason this is is when we copy 
uh, from the Word document into the text editor, all that bold, underlined, and italicized text is going to be lost. So uh, how do we find bold text? It's real easy. All right, so we hit uh, Control H, find and replace. And find what? We're going to hit Control B. See what that did? It searched for font bold. And then we're going to come up here, and we're going to find um, it's a B, and then caret, ampersand, and then a, a closing B. See what that is? You might recognize that as uh, HTML tags. And we want to do that in because we'll need that once it's in the text editor. So uh, find next. So I don't want to make my title into a bold tag uh, just because I'm going to mess with the title a bit later inside the text editor. But like uh, for author's notes, yeah, I can replace that. I'll just show you how to do that. See, if you go back up here, you'll notice that it replaced um, this bold text with uh, bold text. Now I'm going to want to do the same thing for my underlined text. Uh, to do that, you just hit Control U, and that'll find uh, make Microsoft Word find anything that's underlined. And then for this, we'll just change that to a U and a closing U. And the same goes for the uh, ampersand, and that'll wrap it in these tags. So find next. Whoops. I know there's one in here somewhere. There we go. So we'll place that. Okay. See how it put the 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 U uh, the 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 U tags over baby. That's what we want to do. Okay. We want to do the same thing for italicized text. Okay. A similar process. You change that to I, and then uh, take this out, and then hit Control I. See how see what I did. Now Word's going to look for any uh, font italic. So find next. So we'll replace that. I'm going to skip that because we're going to mess with that a bit later. We'll replace it there. <laughs> okay, these like these are like movie titles, right? So they need to be italicized. So we'll do that there. Okay. Uh, now that we've done, uh, we finished up all that, and we still got this big sloppy mess of a thing. So what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to take all these comments or the, excuse me, the entire content of the manuscript and just put it into a, a blank text editor. And let's see what happens. So first, I don't want to take the uh, the comments with me. Some of you might use this track changes feature or the, the comments feature. So if you just put it on final, review, and then final, you'll get rid of all the comments. And now to cut and paste this bad boy, uh, what you do, you just hit control A, and then control C, and that'll take everything. And then we're going to come over to our notepad editor. All right, we're done with the, the Microsoft Word. And I've got a new document over here. I use notepad plus plus plus. And then we're going to go in here. And this is a completely blank uh, uh, text editor. And then we're going to paste it with control V. Let's see what happens. All right, so I got 319 lines of text here. All right, you'll notice that all the uh, the crazy font and the formatting just got totally stripped off. That's good. That's what we want. That's how you remove the corruption that's inherent within uh, word processors. Uh, so what we do is uh, you'll notice that every paragraph is like one long line. So if you come over here, it just kind of keeps going over there. As you see, every paragraph is one long line, and that's what you want. And then uh, next segment, we'll take a look at how to uh, deal with all this.